Hello, my sweet friends. Welcome back to my office slash today it's a craft room where I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that you are having a wonderful spring into summer. But most of you had stated that you wanted to see me put some of my DIYs together. So I do have one. It is a watermelon centerpiece. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it on my table, on my hutch, in my kitchen, or out on my front porch. So we'll see. But anyway, these are the items that I have. I just have a paper plate to put my hot glue gun on, extra glue sticks so I don't have to walk away. I have my metal watermelon container. This comes from Hobby Lobby. I have some styrofoam blocks. You can pick those up at any craft store. I have two different kinds of ribbon, one with a, that's a little check with a black ant on it and one with a watermelon with the little black seeds. And I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I thought about putting a ribbon on each side and having a variation of each one. I also have a pair of scissors. I've already trimmed off all of the, the labels. I do have some floral wire. I might need that for the ribbon. I have some daisies that I picked up from Hobby Lobby and lots of them. I have some bright red geraniums and this was also from Hobby Lobby. And just in case those weren't enough, I picked up some of these beautiful dark red stems from Hobby Lobby. And if you wanted to know the price, I did a haul just recently, my uh, Farm Charm haul, and you can go back and see what I paid for those. I do have my little sewing mat here just as extra protection on my desk. In case I get hot glue on uh, everything. And also I have some uh, stem wire cutters. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I wanna do is place my styrofoam in here. And I'm actually gonna leave this plastic on it as extra protection, but I am going to put a little dab of glue on each end just to secure it in this so that if it does get knocked over, it's you know not gonna spill out everywhere. Now this allows me to add a little bit because it's plastic, whereas if you put hot glue on styrofoam, most of you have experienced what happens. <laughs> Just let that set up because the stems will still go down in through the plastic. You see that? All right, I want to go ahead, I think, and start with the larger stems that I have here. And I'm not sure what length I'm going to need, so. Let's just go ahead and take a wild guess. Okay, after cutting my stems to the size that I wanted, uh, I want to keep all of the leaves. So these leaves are adjustable. I'm gonna move them up just a little. So we want as many leaves in there as we can. So let's do, I think, Here. Adjust the leaves up a little bit. One on the left side. The center. Now you can, if you want to glue these and then put, put it in, uh, I'm just uh, sort of 
This is not my original idea. I watched the ladies over on Grace Monroe, Grace Monroe Home. I don't know if it's a mother and daughter or exactly um, uh, if they're related, but it was their idea, a beautiful idea, and I wanted to make one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put one of these up here in the front. And that might be too, too long. So guys, let me know uh, in the comment, you know, is the weather finally starting to uh, cooperate? In your area, we had some cold spells, some cold days. Move that forward just a little. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna do one more up here in this spot. And that one might be a little bit too long too. Let's go ahead and trim it down. Push up the leaves. In the front. Looking good already. What do you think? I just love those leaves. I do have another one, and I'm not sure because I want a place for my ribbon up on each side. So I think I'll keep that for, you know, a filler for later. And I do have these little bright red, but I'm not sure we're going to need them. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill it up. Look at all those beautiful leaves. Now give me just a minute. Let me cut all of these off and we'll be ready to go. So guys, I'm not even using my glue gun because... Uh, I don't know, they're sticking in there pretty good. Now I'm just gonna start filling in uh, any of the open spaces. Put some big leaves. to take some shape. Let's see. What do we need? Oh yeah, here's an open spot. Fill that in. spot there. Lots of leaves in there. That's wonderful. Okay guys, can you see that? It's beginning to take a shape.
aqui. All right, next we have our beautiful, lovely daisies. And I noticed that there is some small ones along with the larger ones. So this is gonna really give it, I, I love the color of the leaves on this as well. So let me go ahead and get that cut up. them out just a little so they'll go in different directions and if you notice I'm sort of making these and these here at the top a little bit of the same and all of the rest that I have are sort of individuals that's going to just be placed throughout. Sort of just go around, guys, and look for holes or uh, that it's going in a little evenly. You'll be able to look at it and tell. Move those leaves around. The leaves get pretty thick in there, but those are great, great fillers. One more. Looks like I might have a little spot right there. Maybe right over here. And what do you think? What does it need? Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more shape here. some height coming down around out just a little going to give it a little dimension outside of the, the pot and the next thing we want to do is we want to make a ribbon this one is not wired ribbon and this one is wired ribbon which I like the best so I'm not sure how that is going to hold up so i'm going to go ahead and put that one aside for another day another project but i am loving this for the ribbon i want to um i think i want the tail let's see probably 
how many inches that is. Okay, about eight inches, because I can always trim them. So an eight inch tail, and then I'm, I've got a little ruler here on my mat, and then I want to do a 10 inch bow. So that was 10 inches from where I was holding, a oh, twist. Uh, there at the, the 10 inch, I'm gonna twist. Do another 10 inch, bring it in, twist, a lot of twisting here, another 10, twist, ten. bring it back in, I've got two loops here, two loops there, going to twist it again measure 10 pinch it in the middle you're going to twist it again measure pinch and twist and I think I'm going to go one more loop I really want this to look full and this one, I think I'm gonna make this one about nine inches in. Twist. Nine. Twist. This time I'm gonna do a seven. I think I'm gonna do eight. Eight. Twist. Eight. And the last one, if you remember, was your nine inch by a uh, nine inch tail. But let's go ahead. We got all that pinched together. Take your floral wire. Might want to go ahead and have that cut and ready. Uh, laid out, ready to go. Going to twist, tighten the floor wire, and I'm going to twist it around a couple of times. It makes it easier. Then in the back, you're just going to take your two wires and twist it. Fairly tight. You want it to hold. And then we'll be able to attach that with that. But let's go ahead and measure the last tail. Cut. Dovetail. Fold them together. Cut out a little triangle. Same over here on this one. find your and then just start fluffing straightening up where you can uh, see your fabric fluff it wherever you want it to go that's what's so great about the wired ribbon is that it, you can work and place it anywhere you want now, I think I'm going to use this. If you have one of those with the little stems for floral, uh, that would be great, but I'm just gonna stick this, uh, I'm gonna twist this up a little bit, and then I'm gonna stick it down inside the Let's pick a side. Which side? Okay, this side looks like it could use a little something. Straighten up your bow. 
make it look great. Fluff, fluff, fluff. There it is, guys. How simple was that? You could put you could put a ribbon on the other side if you want to. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment. I'm going to enjoy it this summer, and I hope that you get this stuff and try to make this yourself. It is so simple and so easy and a lot of fun, and I'm going to enjoy it. You'll have to come back in one of my uh, decorating series, summer decorating series, that is coming up uh, real soon and see where I'm going to place this. So until my next video, guys, thanks for being here. And I appreciate each and every one of you. And I thank each and every one of you. It looks like we are coming up on 5,000 subscribers, guys. I can't believe that. I can't believe that 5,000 people want to watch my videos, but I'm so glad that you're here. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope that God blesses your day, your week, and your year. Until my next video, guys, bye.